So in this example, guys, when you're basically looking into simplifying this, um, again, anytime all of these, you're going to be looking into factoring first. So if we, what we can see is we can factor, factor this numerator into x minus 2 times x minus 1. And we can factor the denominator into an x plus 1 times x plus 3. Okay, So we're not going over the factoring process. But basically what we're doing is looking at, can we simplify this any further? And the important thing here is that we can simplify things when we have the exact same expression, term, or number in the numerator and the denominator. But that only works when we have terms separated by multiplication. See here, we can't just divide out the x squareds because you can see that the x squareds are subtracted or added to the next term. However, I now have these factors. By factoring, what I've done is I've rewritten this expression as a product of two expressions. So now I can divide things if they are exactly the same. But our issue is we see that we don't have any expressions in the numerator and denominator that are exactly the same. Right? So there's really nothing I can do to simplify this. However, I can define the values that are undefined, that are not defined for this um, expression, which would be x cannot equal negative 1 and x cannot equal negative 3. Right? Because those are the values that make our denominator equal to 0. We're not in the process in this chapter of identifying if it's a whole, if it's an asymptote. Um, 